good morning thank you so much for coming to the messenger once again i am the messenger and i'm just here to give you wisdom knowledge understanding revelation on whatever you are facing today so today we're going to talk about and god put on my heart heavily because this is happening to a lot of people and it makes you feel bad and we shouldn't be feeling bad for our past. That's why it's the past. That's why it's behind us. And that's what we're going to talk about, the past. You know, everyone has a past. And every once in a while, we come across people in our lives that want to reject us because of our past. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Hit that like button. So you got people that, you know, you've been delivered. You're a different person. You don't live like that anymore. But then you find a person that want to know your past. And my question is, why? Why would someone want to know your past? Why can't you enjoy who I am today? But we got a lot of people want to know your past. And when you run across a person that wants to know your past instead of wanting to know the new you, run. And don't tell them. Because I learned a long time ago, you know, I call it the victim mentality where I used to tell people, you know, what's been done to me or whatever. And it it irritated me and it run, ran others away as well and so i learned to not talk about my past if it is not to help someone then i don't discuss it and you should be like that too because people want to know your past to throw it in your face they don't want to get to know you they want to know they want to have something over you like blackmailing or like if you do if you make another mistake I told you see see she hasn't changed he hasn't changed I found out he was in jail and you don't even know that he was in jail because he was lied on and they didn't want to take the fall so they blamed the innocent person and he had to do jail time because nobody wanted to believe him And that's a testimony. Some of your past, some of your people's past is your testimony. And that's why I learned to stop telling when you when you first meet people. Some of you going on dates and you're talking about your past. That runs people away. That runs people away. And when you get that in your spirit that everyone has a past. And if they're still living like that, then cut them off. But if they're nothing like that anymore, they show no behavior like that anymore, you spent time with them, you, you've been around them, you prayed and asked God to show them, show you their heart. That's the prayer you have to always say when you meet somebody, Lord, show me their heart. And I'm telling you, I, I remember doing it a long time ago. I stopped doing it because I haven't dated anyone or anything. But when I did it, oh my God, it shows so much. Sometimes I hate to even pray that prayer because it shows some stuff. And guess what? I let them go. I let them know we're not compatible. I'm sorry. You know, I'm. we're not on the same path. I, I can't do it. Now, they'll be upset, but they'll get over it. It's not hindering your life. But woe to those who want to know your past. That's horrible. Why? I'll tell you your my past when it's a testimony, when it's to help you. Don't come asking me about my past. Because see, some of our past, we've been put into a situation that we had no choice to do certain things. Say, for instance, a single mom. How many of us? raising my hand myself that has been a single mother and had to do things you didn't want to do we've all done it 
I, I've left my child at home while I had to work because I didn't have nobody to watch and I didn't have um, the daddy didn't want to help because you know they want to see you fall and make it without them so they can say see you can't make it without me and I had to teach my child at 12 and 13 you know to to stay at home while I run to the store or while I do anything so please learn how to not discuss your past a lot of us have been put in situations we couldn't help it a lot of things we have done and i remember god told me you're in a survival mode i said wow lord i never in my life heard of that and and he told me that i was in a survival mode repent and keep going our life is a testimony and stop letting people make you feel like because you did things in the past that you're not worthy we all have a past and if they didn't do what you did in the past they have another area where they've made mistakes don't go another day feeling bad about your past if you are not like that anymore you have conquered that you have passed those tests you keep pressing forward in jesus name I pray that this is blessing to you. A missing piece of your puzzle. If this blessed you and helped you, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to be a blessing, um, to hear more. Because this page is talking about things that nobody want to talk about. And like I, I, I can't stress enough, this is my life. This is what I experienced. This is what I've been done. And there is a lot of rare jewels. I call you rare jewels because we are rare chosen ones children of god we're rare and we go through things that nobody else goes through and when i would tell people about what i'm going through they had no clue it scared them it ran them off and that's what this channel is about to help you because we don't have anyone to talk to all the time so you guys make sure you subscribe to be a blessing share to help someone else because those that bless you will be blessed. Those that curse you will be cursed. You stand on that scripture and you just keep going. You guys be blessed and have an awesome sunny Sunday, guys. Bye-bye.